right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, ensemble, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish, right. because he's gonna give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now with the official Ladies introductions, we go inside the Octagon of Bruce Buck. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 13 losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Alex Bruce Leroy Hassan. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 143 pounds. Fighting out of Mecca, Russia, Assassin! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu-Jitsu positions. This guy wants you on the ground. There is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change positions to secure top. Lands a big right hand early. Let's get going. Ooh. Oh! Oh, straight right. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this guy. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, 
Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Oh! Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Oh, what a punch. Two minutes remain in the round. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> All right, single collar tie now. Big head kick. Oh, straight right. Oh, big left. Blocks the shot. Come on, man. Let's get that takedown. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Caceres. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. And he landed the right hand there. Final seconds of round one. Round two is next. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Caceres gets hit by that kick to the body. Put your combinations together. How good is that right hand? Nice kick. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Big leg kick land. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't see the... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish down because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Big elbow there. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Big knee there to the chest. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice punch by Caceres, man! Looked like Caceres might have just missed with that right hand. Oh, big head kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And now he's got that tight clinch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Yes. Oh, big knee! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big 
misses with that punch. 15 seconds. Cable inches right there, boy. It was a good night if that landed. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Good punch, Lance. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Straight right hand now just misses. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Caceres gets caught with that punch. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Caceres' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect common as we go forward. Got the single collar tie. Look at the control of the posture as he landed. Back and forth we go. Nice loop and punch. Nice right hand. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Oh, man. This guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He didn't like that left hand. He's got him right here. Oh, and just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is...